Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzology and I am here with another new color grading tutorial. And if you are new in this channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get the notification. Now, jump into the Photoshop. Okay, this is a very beautiful picture we are gonna edit today. A floral picture, okay. So look at the picture first. The flower is a little bit pinkish and it's a green leaves. And the basic thing is I want a little bit cyan color and also a little bit light green and the flower uh, I think I think I want a little bit yellowish color a little bit warmish color in the flower so let's do it okay at first I want to fix the highlights and shadows so for this go to the image and then adjustment and select your shadows and highlights so you'll find a new window here but I don't bother about the shadows too much here, so I'm just giving it just a little around uh, maybe five percent. Okay, this is fine. And for the highlights, let's let's I think I think I think ten maybe twelve. I think twelve percent is perfect. Uh, is for the highlights right now. Okay, so let's see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. It's done. So press OK. That's good. Okay, now copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and Z. And then change the mode, go to the image and then mode and change the mode to the left color. And select here, don't flatten. That's good. Now come to the channels. And here you will find the four different channels, lab, lightness, A and B. Just select the A channels and you will find a horror picture. Don't worry, press Ctrl and A. And now press Ctrl and C. And now select the B channel, you will find another horror picture. Now press Ctrl and V. Still this is a this is a horrible picture. But ready for the magic? Select the lab channels. Now look at this. Look at the colors. Look at this. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Come back to the layers and see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before. And this is after. This is a very beautiful color, and I love this color. Okay, now go back to the RGB color mode. Select a don't flatten again. That's done. Okay, if you think this color is beautiful for you, this color is perfect for you, the tutorial is done for you. Yeah, it's very easy and simple. But I want a little bit light green and yellowish, yellowish color. So I have to work on this. Okay. So for this, go to the selective color. And let's start with the reds. Let's okay. I think I should decrease the sign here. So I'm going with around minus 14. And for magenta, wow. Okay. If you increase the magenta in case of reds, look at this, it will more pinkish but i don't want it i want a little bit yellowish color so i do increase it so here i decrease it so here i'm going with minus 38 now i want to increase the yellow around maybe for 14 or 15 percent that's fine okay look at this this was the v4 and this is after okay so now go to the next step the yellow color and for cyan i think i should decrease it so i'm giving her around minus 23 that's fine and for magenta i think let's go with plus 10 that's fine and let's increase the yellow look at the warm color i love this so okay let's go with minus plus 33 for yellow that's good now select the sign color and, and now i want to increase the sign color to 100 and increase the magenta let's decrease it to minus 100 look at this look at the little bit greenish color okay so I'm going with minus 100 in case of magenta. But if you love this color, you can uh, increase it also. Look at this color. I also love this color. So if you think this color is perfect for you, just increase the magenta to 100. It's beautiful. Look at this. It's really beautiful. I love this one also. Okay. So right now, just only for right now, I'm going with minus 100. Okay, let's increase the yellow to plus 24 and for black I think minus 10 this is fine so look at this this was the before and this is after okay let's go to the selective color again 
and select the sign again and decrease the magenta look at this i love this bright uh, greenish color so i am giving around maybe uh let's minus 38 i think 38 looking fine and for yellow let's look at this in photoshop just play with the colors do some experiment and find your color this is very beautiful look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really good okay right now i want to add the vignette effect uh, so for this you can use uh, the gradient option from the adjustment layer option but uh, i will prefer to use it on camera raw so uh, right now i need a layer so press shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e to merge all this into a single layer that is layer 2 and then convert it to smart object and now go to the filter and open it with on camera raw filter okay so now come to the effects option and here you will find the vignetting option and just because you will find more controls look at this option midpoint roundness feather highlights all this option is available for this effect that is not available for the gradient so that's why i choose it on camera raw i think let's i think i'm going with minus 52 or minus 53 that is perfect and increase the feather to 65 maybe that's fine i'm happy with this effect now come back to the basics and and increase the contrast a little bit i think plus seven maybe i think this is fine and i want to decrease the black around minus 14 i think this is fine maybe i should decrease the highlight just a little around minus four that's fine and also add some uh, clarity or texture and also increase the vibrance just a little it's fine and now coming to the curves option okay you can use these curves on the adjustment layer also it's same so just okay select the rgb channels first and just make a point here now select the point and drag it to the up like this look at this look at the effect i love this effect this matte effect this washed out effect it's very beautiful i think this is fine okay now come back to the okay now go to the uh, blue channels and make a point here also and just click on this point and drag like this just same as before and look at this here is the blue color and here is the yellowish color and look at this when you when you drag it to the up and look at these curves it comes down to the yellow that means your highlights become little bit yellowish little bit warm and your shadows little bit bluish look at this it's very beautiful and i love this color term. i think i think this is done okay so press q to see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after i think i think i shouldn't decrease the highlights i think this is fine okay so press okay so this was the before and this is after and now if you think the effect is too much on the face just create a mask just few days before someone asked me how to remove the effect from the face after color grading this is how create a mask and select the mask pick a brush soft brush and paint with a black color and i'm going with flow to uh, around five percent very little and just paint on the face now look at this this was the before and this is after look at this this was the before before applying the mask and this is after it looks really great but i want little bit uh reddish type of thing in the skin so go to the um, uh, color balance again and select your midtones and just just increase the redness very little so i'm going with plus seven and in case of magenta minus seven maybe so i think this is fine look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really good i love this color decrease it and see so now let's see the before and after overall look at this this was the before this is our main picture and this is after 
it looks really good i love all the colors i think in this tutorial i have shown you maybe two or three types of color grading okay uh, i hope you will love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe